This is an example of one way to conduct a typical hearing screening on a school-aged child. Please note that each state and school district may have their own guidelines and no specific guidelines should be followed when conducting a hearing screening at your own location. Okay, let's get started. Make sure that you are in a quiet room away from external noises and distractions. Try to make the room as quiet as possible by turning off all sources of noise, including fans. The tester should set the audiometer on a table and have their own chair oriented so that they can easily operate the audiometer. A second chair should be set up for the child. Have the child face away from the tester and orient them at about a 45 degree angle. This way, the tester can still keep an eye on the child, but the child should not be able to see the tester adjusting the audiometer. Give the child instructions, such as, You are going to hear some beeping sounds. Raise your hand as soon as you hear the sounds, even if they are very soft. Place the headphones on the child with the red phone on the child's right ear and the blue phone on the child's left ear, making sure that the headband is snug on the child's head. On the audiometer, select the right ear and set the frequency dial to 1000 Hz and the level dial to 50 dB. Play the tone by pressing the blue tone switch. The child should raise their hand. Repeat to make sure that the child understands the task. If the child does not respond, re-instruct the child and try again. If the child still does not respond, they should be referred on for further testing. After the practice tones, turn the level dial down to 20 dB and play the 1000 Hz tone. Record if the child responds. Play the tone again to confirm that the child responds. Next, change the frequency dial to 2000 Hz and play the tone as before. Record the results. Repeat the same procedure at 4000 Hz. Switch to the left ear. Keep the level dial at 20 dB and repeat the same procedure for all three of the test frequencies including 1000, 2000, and 4000 Hz. The child needs to respond to all test frequencies in each ear in order to pass the screen. If the child does not respond to even one of the frequencies, they do not pass the screening and are referred on for further testing. When presenting the tones to the child, make sure that the length of the tones and the timing between tone presentations is varied. This will ensure that the child is not just set in a timed pattern of raising their hand and that they are actually responding to the tones themselves. When the test is finished, remove the headphones and prepare for the next screening. Congratulations, you have now completed a hearing screening using the Mako MA25 audiometer.